In Abuja, cafes are working hard to build a coffee culture in the country. But there is an idea that Nigeria is a nation of tea lovers. Let's hear Ituro Udofia with this. In terms of building a culture takes time. And at this cafe, they're building a culture around coffee. There's so much to know about a tiny bean. So you said something interesting. You said it's not too sweet. It's strong, but at the same time, it has a, a, a light aroma. There's a huge debate about whether or not Nigerians prefer coffee or Nigerians prefer tea. And as there's a culture in Nigeria growing around coffee, it's important to know what people think. Me, I'm a lover of coffee. I hope everyone did love coffee, love, love coffee as well, as far as I do. I hope you do love coffee. Because of my health, state uh, I prefer the tea to coffee. I love tea more than coffee. There's one specific tea I like the most which is um, hibiscus because of the flavor and how the taste is. Uh, I really like that tea. I am 50-50 because uh, I understand the value of tea in terms of its relaxing nature, its health benefits. And then with coffee, it's a no-brainer when you need energy as an adult. Those who love coffee are hopeful that more Nigerians will care about the quality of what they're drinking. It's a responsibility for us because the amount of people taking coffee, some of them, or rather most of them, don't know what they're taking. Some of them, their friends just um, let them, okay, this coffee, you can take it. Tea is more of a known cultural thing but notwithstanding those tea drinkers also like coffee and the more places that open up serving good gourmet coffees and the more the coffee culture increases trust me you're going to see a lot more people we have to look at new ways with everything that's going on to farm again to bring back the cult coffee culture in Nigeria so that we can become exportable in the next three to five years there's actually quite a bit of uh, farms here, but they just don't have the proper irrigation or techniques. It's just, it was lost. I think the last time that coffee was actually, anything was done on it was about 2009. Nigeria grows coffee in places like Jos, Ogun, and Akiti. So it may not be a matter of if a coffee culture will catch on, but when. Itoro Udafia, Arise News. Did we see her, you know, yeah. taste the coffee? Taste the coffee. I was just okay. talking about, you know, it's not about if the culture will grow, but when. Let's bring in Sophia Ohakelem. She's actually the owner of Vintage Cafe, and she joins us now to have a conversation about coffee and uh, the fact that it's growing in Nigeria. Sophia, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. From that interview that we saw, majority of the people there say, you know what, um, some of them, I'm 50-50, but bulk of them said, I'll take tea over coffee. But coffee drinking is growing in Nigeria. As a cafe owner... How much have we progressed in the last few years? Uh, I would say probably a, a good 60, 70 percent. We've grown a lot. Uh, Abuja is now on the cups of really growing. Lagos is, you know, always ahead of the game. But um, you see a lot of uh, commercial, very commercial. What's kind of set us apart here in Abuja is that we're a true coffee house. We offer about 56 different types of coffee beans, uh, about 27 origin coffee. So we can tell you exactly where the origin of the coffee comes from, as well as a lot of the blended coffees that we do in the shop. So we, with our baristas, we train you on tasting notes. It's similar to drinking wine. So you learn about the body, you learn about the notes, uh, your, your top notes, your finishing notes, and uh, the acidity in the coffee as well. I, actually, I was just going to talk about that, you know, branding coffee to the average Nigerian, maybe mm -hmm. a kind of handover of a task, you know, and um, with the competition from tea, just like you heard from that report, and of course we still have uh, the traditional roadside uh, meshai the you know tea seller is very popular how are you going to compete against them because some people will be saying these are so elitist do you tell them of some of the health benefits for example of course there's a lot of health benefits from the tea just as well as the coffee i think the reason that the tea is such a big thing here is because of the colonial british 
uh, you know, <laughs> connection that's always <laughs> been here in, Ni in Nigeria. Yeah. But um, London is uh, very big into coffee, and I know we're all drawn to the UK, but um, it's really grown a lot, and maybe because it's not so in your face, you'd be quite surprised at how many Nigerians are really drinking coffee and how many of them are really educated about coffee as well. Mm. Um, we're still trying to change that uh, mind of coffee is Nescafe. No mm. discredit to Nescafe. But oh, instant they just tell you it contains caffeine and caffeine well, is actually, this and the rest. Well, actually, it does. It's actually yeah. quite strong. Yeah. Um, but but you not know. knowing the health benefits is a problem because from mm -hmm. what on, uh, the little research I've done is that it helps the nervous system. It, it does. stimulates the brain and the rest. It keeps you yeah. a lot. Most people just know so about the negative part of it, the, the, the caffeine inside of it that might, you know, take sleep away from your eyes. Well, with coffee, as we say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> um, <laughs> coffee has the same thing, hypertension, um, you know, cholesterol it helps bring it down and it, it's the caffeine content. Of course, you can overdo a lot of caffeine with as with anything, but um, if you learn to drink coffee, you'll admire it to the fact that it's, it, like, like I said, drinking the wine. Once you understand what you're really drinking, how you're drinking it's it. It's very aromatic. <laughs> it is. Uh, it's, yes, uh, yes. And having 53 flavors, you uh -huh. know, one that puts the customer at edge. Because that means you have to come up with I a lot of branding, it. you get a point. Uh, well, I mean, you have to understand what your customer is coming in for. Mm -hmm. um, it all starts with the barista again. Are mm -hmm. you looking for a light roast, medium roast, dark roast? What type of notes are you looking for? Fruity, chocolatey, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, are you wanting something strong? you know, agmatic, so it depends. So we try to understand your needs so that and we can, them. we can and fulfill sometimes, them. And, you and you sometimes they have a dash of whiskey or brandy. Okay. Actually, that's that's interesting you, you <laughs> say this, he, because I, I we are now that. fermenting <laughs> coffee beans in cask barrels. You see okay. what I mean? And we have uh, bourbon, we have oh rye. <laughs> now you don't actually taste the alcohol, but it's the fermentation it's of the bean in the cask. Yeah. But you know, as we wrap up this conversation, I'm interested in the economic aspect of it because from that report, you can. She said coffee is grown in three states in Nigeria. It's up here for one yearly. They almost get I'm, almost I'm a billion yeah. almost a billion dollar dollars from exporting coffee so well, that market in nigeria what do we need to do to really harness it and become one of the global players well this is one of my key interests is that we need to bring back the coffee farming back into nigeria we need to be exportable in the next three to five years so just like the government had focused a lot on the agri sector we need to now do this in the coffee sector there was recently a coffee and tea bill that was on the floor, we were at the Senate to speak to them about it. So we have to put schemes and measures in place. I'm the carnivore of the Nigerian International Coffee Festival, which we'll hold next year. Ooh. And so you will see that we will try to put schemes together to get farmers to go into farming or roasting, maybe building coffee machines now made from Nigeria and bringing in farmers from other countries to give us a little bit more of an edge and technical education and know-how. And support. That Sophia Oha-Kele yeah. would have to say thank you for all that you're doing. <laughs> and of course, you know, Mike Pallet's already excited from all of the different flavors <laughs> that will come enjoy at your cafe. Thank you so much. Bye.